Morning you guys, it's Karen and if you read my post on my YouTube channel you'll know that I did a ton of filming yesterday, I did two hours worth of filming and then the lighting was just completely off, it just wasn't bright enough and then I filmed it all again for another two hours and my SD card was corrupt. So this is my third time attempting to film this and I wasn't planning on filming today, I've got to go to the vet, got to take Watson to the vet in an hour, um, hence no lipstick because we still have to wear masks um, in some places in Scotland um, and I don't normally put earrings on every day either but I thought you know what let me just see if I can get this video done. So this is a kind of roundup of all of the ones that I've, all of the sunscreens that I've tried for the last couple of months it's been hasn't it and I'm telling you the ones that I think are best I've got seven in total they're a mix of mineral and um, the new kind of chemicals um, but let me tell you some things that you won't find in these well things that you will and won't find in, in all of the things I'm talking about today so everything is available in the UK that's something that's become more and more important to me I think I'm trying to do my little bit with you know being eco if you like and not putting miles on everything and ordering loads from outside of the UK but also I'm, I'm super impatient and I want to know that I'm going to get my item quickly and that I'm not going to have to pay huge customs on it you know so everything that I'm talking about today as I currently speak, you can get from the UK. Um, there will be no avabenzone or oxybenzone in any of the sunscreens I'm talking about. The chemical sunscreens that I choose are ones that have tinazorb and uvinal in them. And a couple of these do have octisalate in, which I've talked about before as being the kind of least offensive of all the chemical sunscreens. Um, because they don't have oxybenzone and avabenzone in, they are considered reef safe. Whether or not you think they're reef safe or not is, is another, I could do a whole other video on that actually because it's a big question as to if it even matters um, with the, how much your sunscreens contribute to that, you know, like I said, that could be a whole video, but these are considered reef safe. Um, they're all vegan and cruelty free, the ones I'm talking about today, so that is fantastic. Um, they're all good under makeup. I've tried them all under my makeup and they work fabulously. Don't disturb my makeup at all. They're not too greasy, you know, don't cause any extra breakthroughs. Um, they don't sting my eyes. I always make sure I put all of them over my eyes and they don't, none of these sting at all. And they're all broad spectrum. So yeah, I think that's everything that they, all of these are. Um, I'm just gonna quickly run through the seven of them and then what I'll do is at the end, I'll tell you What's the one for you if you're looking for a non-nano? What's the one for you for your particular skin type um, or for your particular budget, that kind of thing, and hopefully that's useful to you. I've not listed these in any order, but number one on my list is this one. This is the Face Theory Amul C Whip SPF 30, and you can see that I have used a lot of this. Um, there's not much left in the bottom of that jar. Um, I have done a whole review video on this and most of these, not all of these, but so I'll make sure and link those for you as well. But this one, you may remember, I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with it as soon as I used it. I don't love that it's in a jar. I use the Niod metal spoon to get this out. Um, I love that you can choose to have this scented or not. Um, this is one of the new chemical sunscreens. So let me have a look what is the, it, ingredients it's tin absorber s this one is based on um so yeah you can choose to have this without fragrance i just love that this it feels well obviously it is thick you can see that it is really really thick and when it goes on your skin it doesn't feel like that it feels you feel like you're using a rich moisturizer but it sinks right in it doesn't feel greasy at all it actually feels quite refreshing i just really enjoyed how that felt on my face so love that and it kind of ticks every box in terms of ingredients etc apart from it being in a jar number two i did this one recently and you may remember that again i loved it as soon as i used it it's the naked sundays this is spf 50 this one is a, a mineral one i think yeah zinc based this one um I was surprised how lovely this felt, but this is one that not only did it feel lovely going on, like it was a real pleasure to use, like this one, but once I'd put it on, I was like, oh, wow, my skin feels super soft and like ready for makeup. You know, there's no greasiness at all to this. I say greasiness a lot of the time, and I'm not sure that's the right word because some of them just feel, some sunscreens just feel substantial. You know, this one just feels like skincare it just feels like really luxury skincare and like a really nice base for makeup so that's why I loved that one let me just show you what this Naked Sundays one looks like because this one is tinted most of the others are untinted um, if you want to see me applying these 
then you can find that in each of the individual review videos that I've done on these. But So that's tinted, but it's a beautiful colour. It's a really nice sort of neutral colour um, and just disappears. I don't think there'd be any problem with white cast with this. Uh, but obviously it's hard, hard to say because I've got really light skin. Okay, number three is Versed. Versed Guards Up, this is called. This is another uh, mineral one. This is a zinc-based sunscreen and it looks like that. It's got a strange sort of orange tint to it, this one. I don't think it's meant to be specifically tinted, if you know what I mean. Um, I never noticed an orange tint on my face at all, um, but I don't know. I don't know how that would work on on other skin tones, because like I said, it is a, a strange sort of orangey colour when it comes out. Um, this one is £20, and this is an SPF 35, so I think, again, that's a pretty much a good price as a sort of mid price line isn't it about the same as the face theory one um this one i haven't used it for a while because i've been trying all of these others and this is one that i reviewed last year i think and fell in love with and well i say fell in love with it's one of those that i like using it i like the feel of it on my skin but there's nothing amazing you know i wasn't like oh my skin feels amazing afterwards it's just one that it ticked all of the boxes because this one is also non-nano you know it it was cruelty free where it wasn't easy it hasn't always been easy to find cruelty free once it was a good price point etc etc number four is one you might be surprised at because it's the hawaiian tropic mineral face milk and it does have fragrance in it um i actually saw this in boots when i was in town and i tried to look at the ingredients but even with my glasses on i couldn't read them they're they're super super tiny um so i bought it because it was a great price this one is eight pound um and it's mineral and I think it's really hard to find a drugstore mineral sunscreen so that's why I included this you can tell as soon as you use this that it's got fragrance in it um, but other than that it's actually a really nice sunscreen so it's zinc based again what else have I got to tell you about it it's eight pound it's an SPF 30 so it's not the highest one water resistant this one is vegan cruelty free etc but you can see from there that you might well get a, a white cast doesn't say whether this is nano or not, but I wouldn't think it would be looking like that. Normally nano is the ones that are like, you know, say they're invisible or whatever. Um, and I, yeah, I think that might cause a problem with the white cast for, for some skin tones, but the fragrance is, it says it's their typical Hawaiian fragrance, Hawaiian tropical fragrance. It's probably, it's medium, medium level perfume, I'd say. It's not really, really light but neither is it like, you know, hits you in the face too much. So when you put it on your face, for example, the fragrance then goes away. And it may be just that you get used to it, you know, but it does have fragrances. So not a great one for sensitive skin. But like I said, I wanted to include it because I've tried this under makeup. It, even though it's got fragrance in, it hasn't irritated my skin whatsoever. It doesn't mean to say there's no irritation going on, but it hasn't irritated my skin. It's worked well under makeup. It doesn't sting my eyes. Um, it's a mineral-based one and it's a great price. Number five, um, you're probably not surprised to see this one here. This is the Carbon Theory Daylight SPF 50. Um, this one is £16, so it's about the same price as the face theory one and the versed one um, I love this because of the smell I think that's the thing that I fell in love with I do like the formula it's very very fluid so you can see it just kind of drips down in fact it's the same as another one oh I'm going to show you the other one at the end but yeah it's very fluid and I like that because when you put it on it just kind of disappears you know it's very quick to put on um, this one feels a bit more like a sunscreen I'd say you know, like the, the Hawaiian Tropic does as well, but the, the Naked Sundays and the, the Face Theory one feel more like skincare. This, I feel like you know that you're putting on a sunscreen, but I love, it's got that beachy smell, that sunscreen smell. So some of you might not like that, but there's no fragrance in here. Um, but that to me just kind of, I, I love that because, ooh, I was gonna get upset there because I, I think it's because it reminds me of my dad taking my, me and my brother to the beach. Um, I've always loved the smell of that though you know it's just like I said it just reminds me of good times on the beach and I don't get to have much fragrance because I choose to have fragrance free for most of my cosmetics the only sort of fragrances are or the natural things that are not going to irritate our cucumber um coconut and things like this so I love this mostly for the fragrance but I do love I love the bottle the ingredients are all great. This one, I'm sorry I didn't tell you, is Juvenal and Tinazorb M and also Tinazorb S in this. Um, but yeah, it kind of ticks all the boxes. It, it 
very quick to apply and I love the smell so that's the carbon theory one um, number six is this one this is the SOS this is the SPF 30 there is an SPF 50 but that one has I think it's avabenzone in it so I wouldn't use that one but this one doesn't this one does have octisalate in it so this is based on uvinol and octisalate um, so octisalate is not a deal breaker for me but I would prefer it to not be in in my sunscreen this one is £15.50 so again it's the same sort of price line um, as these ones um, so not too expensive and I love the pump dispenser and this one is another one that I would say feels like skincare it doesn't feel like a sunscreen like you put it on and it's very very lightweight it doesn't feel greasy at all um, it, yeah it just feels like if I was putting this on in a blind test I keep on saying that but I think it's a good way to think about it if I was putting that on blind I would think I was putting on just a light sort of day gel cream something like that but it but it feels lovely and hydrating so I really like that one the final one to talk about is the Beauty Bay one and this is the one that I said is very much like this Carbon Theory one and you can see if I put the Carbon Theory on there and then I put the Beauty Bay one on there oh, the only thing is that pump that kind of joined up there but you can see they're both you can't tell the difference between them they're both exactly the same type of formula um, there are two differences well there's three differences actually the first difference is the price so the carbon theory one was 16 pound if you remember same amount in each bottle um, this beauty bay one is also juvenal tea and tinazorb but this one is eight pound whereas the carbon theory one is 16 pound so this one is double the price. Um, however, the, the biggest difference for me is this has got octisalate in it. Um, and this one doesn't have that same beachy scent. So if you prefer completely unscented, this one has no added fragrance at all and no, no scent at all um, when you use it. Um, but like I said, it does have octisalate in it, but it is a really good price as well at eight pounds. Before I go on to tell you which of these are best for you if you want non nano budget etc etc let me just make a few mentions of products that have been recommended to me by you guys or that just don't exist anymore so the first one for example is this this is the BYBI day defense this is one that I absolutely loved um, I discovered it I think last year or the year before I will have included it in a video before if not done its, its own video um, but it doesn't exist anymore or certainly it doesn't exist in the UK for us I think it's available outside of the UK um, so that probably would have been included so for you guys in you know outside of the UK that can get hold of it it's really nice it looks like it's yellow but it's it's actually not this is one that goes completely translucent again feels like skincare pretty decent price um, it's just like I said it's not available to us in the UK at the moment um, Niod Survival 30 is another uh, mineral sunscreen that I absolutely love it is very fluid like it's very much like the Beauty Bay one and the Carbon Theory one um, and it's got a slight tint to it a really nice colored tint the reason I've not included this in one that I would recommend is I just it's so expensive you know Naked Sundays is the most expensive one here but I think that the Niod one per mil works out even more expensive than that you know a lot more expensive and I just don't feel like there's any need to to pay that high level of price for, for a sunscreen at the moment um, the other one for also from Desiem is the ordinary sunscreen um, and that's one that I think is good I think it's an SPF 30 I know they do an SPF 15 that is a good sunscreen and it is one that I would recommend to people but there are two things about it that mean I didn't put it in this favorites or best of firstly it has a strange sort of gray quality to it I found um, and it's something that I didn't notice at the beginning when I used it weirdly it was just towards the end I'd be like hmm that's a little bit gray you know so um, it's something that I would only recommend for very pale skin and the other thing is it's not hydrating enough for me so when I used it I would have to put um, like an oil or something underneath or a serum a hydrating serum something underneath it to, to help my skin not feel tight if I just used that alone my skin would feel tight so it wasn't one I could kind of combine as skincare and sun cream um, the Inky List do a zinc sunscreen which I have done a review of um, I honestly I can't remember my my feelings on it in depth but I remember that it was one that I said I would repurchase in the future if 
I was looking for a more affordable one. I couldn't find one that ticked all the boxes, but it, I don't think it was one that I fell in love with for any reason. So that's why it's not included here. Um, the cooler one that I talked about the other day, the cooler matte one, I really, really like that. And that is still available on Look Fantastic. So I will link it for you because it's still at the sale price of £28. So again, it's not a cheap one, but it's usually 36 on sale for 28 And if you are looking for a matte skin from your SPF, that is one to go for but apparently it doesn't exist anymore and then they've created a new one called sheer matte but that's not available to us in the uk so that's why that one's not in here um polish choice glow is one that i've mentioned before um i haven't used that for a long time i don't even have a tube of it but it is one i would consider repurchasing um i wouldn't rush to to buy it because I remember it had a bit of a dusty smell and it's tinted but I would have a look at all of her all of the other sunscreens on Paula's Choice because they're a decent price point they're not drugstore um, but they're a decent price point and good ingredients etc you know another one you guys asked me to um, review is Dr Sam I did go and have a look at the one that you guys were asking about is the f I don't know whether it's face and body or just body but you can use it on your face um, but it's it's in a, a larger tube I had a look at that one I know that I liked Dr Sam's face SPF because I reviewed that when it first came out years ago um, I did really like it but I just thought it was too expensive and same kind of thing I was looking at this SPF thinking it's just too expensive but then I went and had a look at some reviews and there's a lot of reviews saying it leaves a really bad white cast and I think that it was greasy so I decided not to buy that but I'm still sort of I'm an R in um but I've, I, there's so much choice here you know it's not like I I need anything else at the moment um but yeah, the reviews didn't look to be very good for that one. Um, and the final one that you guys mentioned, I did get really excited when I saw the price point of this brand, is called Grum. It's G-R-U-U-M, and one of the U's has got a little dot over it. Um, I don't know what that means, <laughs> um, but it's obviously some way you pronounce it. But I had a look at the brand, really, really inexpensive, but they have avabenzone in. I, I don't know whether it's avabenzone or oxybenzone, but they have one of those in, um, so that's just not for me. Whew, there was a lot of mentions there wasn't there okay so on to best for you if so if you are looking for zero white cast the only one that i'd be really confident saying would be this one the sos serum because this is just so so lightweight and so translucent you know as soon as you put it on you can see that it's i don't think this will cause a white cast for anybody um and I think that the Naked Sunday's one would be okay as well, but this one is tinted and it is a light tint, but it is quite a neutral colour that immediately disappears. But I couldn't say how this would be on darker skin. So the only one I would be confident saying is the SOS one. I would say have a look at reviews or watch my other um, you know, dedicated video if there's one you're interested in, because I do talk about white cast or not on, on those in those videos, and you can see me applying it as well. Um, for budget the budget ones are these they are both eight pound and so these are ones that it depends if you are bothered about fragrance so if you are the beauty bay one is the best one if you're bothered about octisalate the hawaiian tropic one if you specifically want mineral the hawaiian tropic one is mineral if you specifically want the new chemical ones then the beauty bay one is um, chemical but they're both eight pound which is a really good price for sensitive skin, I have said SOS, well, there's quite a few, Naked Sundays, Versed and Face Theory. So I've said these four. So basically, not the one with fragrance in it. It's probably easier to tell you what not to buy and not these two, the Carbon Theory and the Beauty Bay one because they have Tinazorb M in it and that did show in studies um, to cause some irritation for people. So I would say you'd be okay with the Versed, the Naked Sundays, the SOS and the Face Theory because you can have that without fragrance. If you have dry skin, these are the three that I would recommend. These are the ones that are, I would say, the most hydrating. Probably these two, actually. The Naked Sundays one, super hydrating, great hydrating ingredients in there. And ditto with the SOS one. This Beauty Bay one, I just find this really, it feels really moisturising when it's going on. And it does, um, it is really hydrating. The Carbon Theory one, although it's very similar to this the carbon theory one is kind of made for oily skin which is why i wouldn't recommend it. it has some ingredients in that might not be as moisturizing as you need with dry skin for oily and acne prone skin obviously the carbon theory would be my number one um 
choice in terms of ingredients. You know, the ingredients in this are geared towards people with oily and acne prone skin. Um, and I think this one would be great. But I also think the SOS one would be good. This is one that I think would be okay for all skin types. I think it's hydrating enough for dry skin no fragrance and it's a great for sensitive skin and no you know nothing like tillis or bem is not in it um and also great for oily skin because it's really a lightweight feel it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't feel oily and you know i think this one would be good for you for oily skin as well if you are looking for a high spf and by high i mean SPF 50 because these are a combo of either SPF 30 or SPF 50 um, then these are the three to go for the Naked Sundays, Carbon Theory and the Beauty Bay are all SPF 50. I use an SPF 50 in the summer um, but remember it's a Scottish summer so there's not that much sun um, but I do like to use an SPF 50 in the summer so I'll probably use these first before going through the other ones and I use the SPF 30 or somewhere in between in the winter. The only ones that are non-nano, so if you're looking for non-nano specifically, are these two, the Naked Sundays and the Versed one. Um, there are two that don't say, so the Hawaiian Tropic doesn't say. I don't think that would be nano, to be honest, but it doesn't say. Um, and the SOS one doesn't say. I don't think that one would be nano either, though. But it, it, but it doesn't say. Ones that are specifically nano are the Carbon Theory one is nanotechnology and where's the other one? Oh, Beauty Bay. Carbon Theory and the Beauty Bay are nano. I think that's because they're that sort of fluidy, invisible type um, product. But these two are non-nano, so the Naked Sundays and the Versed. Um, finally, water resistant. That's not something I thought would bother people but or interest people, but I've had a couple of people asking. So the Hawaiian Tropic one is water resistant, as is the Naked Sundays. They're both water resistant for 80 minutes. So uh, I think that's everything other than, for me, they're, they're all repurchases except for this Hawaiian Tropic one, um, simply because of the perfume in it. You know, it's, I try to avoid it if I can. Um, my first repurchase, I like them all for different reasons. You know, I love this. Actually, this is only gonna be a repurchase if I'm ever really wanting to treat myself for some reason or, it's on sale or something like that because that's quite expensive so it's not one I would use regularly. Um, the first one is not like top of my list favourite but it does tick a lot of boxes. The Carbon Theory one I love for the smell so I definitely repurchase this one. I like the way the Face Theory one feels. Um, the Beauty Bay one I wouldn't I'm not going to rush to repurchase because it's got the octisalate in but this one also has octisalate and i really like how this feels so i would say these are probably my most likely to repurchase um but we'll see as we go along. There's one other coming out that I really want to try by Biosense is the company. I hope they're cruelty free. I feel like they might be because I've got a squalane oil from them, but I don't know whether I bought that before I went cruelty free, you know, so I need to check, but they've got one coming out that's a sheer mineral one. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Um, just waiting for it to be available on Look Fantastic. I don't know why, but it feels really weird doing a video when I wasn't intending to, you know, because like I said, I, I would normally have lipstick on. I would have done my makeup specifically. I don't know how I'd have done it differently. I was just messing about with, oh, I was messing about with a palette Kev bought me for my birthday. Um, this is the Huda Beauty Naughty Nudes that I used this morning. Um, yeah, and I would have put earrings in. I would have kind of got a bit more dressed up, you know, not just put on a sweatshirt, that kind of thing. So it does feel a bit odd, but hopefully, hopefully this footage is okay. Um, so makeup wise, I've told you what's on my eyes. On my skin, I've actually got on the, the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. So I'll be really interested to see how it looks on camera. I've got, I think 1.2N, I think is the color. No lipstick and on my cheeks is the Sigma Blush in Berry Love. Um, and that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.